In this first section, we're going to take a look at browsing through the social media sites and doing a little bit of what I would call drip participation. And that means, let me get to Twitter here. <clears throat> drip participation means that what you're going to do is spend a little bit of time in the social media and not spend a huge amount of time. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't spend all day hanging out but uh, just do a little bit and um, have a presence. Make sure that you're known in the community. So we're gonna start with Twitter. And in my case, what I do is I, I go into Twitter and normally every day I try to enter some witty little comment. So let's put in here something from Mark Twain. read through it make sure that it looks right and then I say update now notice it's got a little counter here so if you're not familiar with Twitter it's always tells you whether you're going over or under now I could go way over I could go way over look at that 65 characters over but I'm gonna try to stay under for a couple reasons one is that if someone wants to copy and paste this so they can retweet I need enough room for them to be able to do that and add a tiny little comment and a retweet and maybe give me some credit for it if you scroll down here on the page we're gonna look for a couple of different things one is we're gonna see if we can find uh, a retweet I'm just glancing very quickly here So here's one, it says retweet, at sign, and it's got the name. Notice that the name is a link. So if I click on this, it will take me to that person's home page. So let's do that. And here's someone, E. Boma. So I said, okay, make the most of yourself, for that is all there is for you. Well, I think that's a wonderful sentiment. I'm going to follow this person, so I decide I'm gonna follow. Now very often, when you follow someone, they will in turn follow you. So that's always a good thing. And then I go back to my home page. So you see how we do that. Now, if you remember, this person was wise and did not put the at sign as the first character. If you put the at sign as the first character, it limits who all can see the post that you put up. So if you put the RT first, that's a good thing. Even if you're going to reply to someone, you want to say, hey, Juicy2, and then make your comment. And that way, it, it goes to everyone who's following you and not just the people who are following both you and the other person. One thing we want to look for is any retweets, any time when somebody mentions another person and you think, well, maybe I should be following that person. You can check those out. And then I just kind of glance down and see if there's anybody in particular that I want to read on a given day, or if somebody makes a reference to something that I think might be interesting. So, for example, here's one word camp LA. When it has the pound sign, that's also a link. In this case, it would be a link to a search term, search term that begins with the pound sign. Way at the top, you have this search area, and I could put in pound sign and put in some term here, and I would be able to search for that. But if somebody has a search term already in the main area, it's very easy to just click on that, and it will take, it, uh, take me to that place the same as if I had entered it here. Down here, you'll see these are trends going on right now. Here's Texas, big term, Michigan, and Notre Dame. Guess which football game is going on as we speak? So if you were to put Michigan, or let's just say UM here, it will give you the tweets where somebody has mentioned that by putting pound sign UM next to the name. These are the most common things that are going on right now. So if you're going to do an event, announce one of these hash terms to the people following you so that they can discuss it online. And as a result, if you get enough activity, you might be over on the right here. You might get someone like me to wander in and click on it and uh, see if that can improve 
your following even more. Again, it's all just a matter of bouncing around a little bit. You can see that there were hundreds of things that went by on the screen that I didn't even take a chance to look at. Some of it I might want to look at, some not, but in general my goal is to just have a little bit of presence, post up a little something interesting, and then I head over to Facebook. Like many people, I have my Twitter feed reposted automatically in Facebook. And so here is that quote from Mark Twain from four minutes ago. Interesting, so Andrew Gallagher posted, he clicked right there to say that he likes that, and that's something you should do. So again, here, Rob Franklin has uh, already retweeted this. Thank you, Rob, I appreciate that. And uh, Andrew has said that he likes it. So again, if you post something in the community, Everyone who's following Rob is going to see his tweet, and if they follow the link with the at sign back to me, they may decide that they want to follow me. If they follow me, I will follow them, and on and on it goes. So it's pretty easy to slide into Twitter a little bit at a time. You don't have to freak out and spend two or three hours on it every day. In here, if I see something that I particularly like, I might also decide that I want to click on it and say I like that and um, or I might want to repost it or make a comment so sometimes I will do that and I might spend again two or three minutes here not 10 20 30 minutes in my case I also will go check out LinkedIn again it's got a place where I can put an update here and I'll say actually recording a webinar on social media then I'll get people to say what 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 tell me about that and I can look and see the status updates of people that I'm following or that are connected to me and again I could choose to go there go to one of these sites I could look at what they're up to I could make smart aleck comments, whatever I want to do. I always try to look over on the right here and see if there's someone that I could be following that I'm not following. And believe it or not, uh, I come up with a number of people every day. Several of these people I know and have um, connections with in some way. So I'll come back and click on them. But the point is add one or two people here and there and pretty soon your group of connections grows and grows. I'm going to hop back to Facebook for just a minute and see that when you click the home button you will get a list of any updates that have happened since the last time I was here. It looks like there aren't any. This is being recorded on a Saturday during a Michigan football game so people have other things to do. But then I'm going to go down here to the groups and I'm going to see the groups that I'm following one of which is related to my book. We have 157 members and Jay Weiss has recently joined that group. And then these are my friends have recently joined the groups on the left. So when I look at the various things that are going on here, these are people who are connected to me on Facebook have joined these things. And the groups on the right are the ones that I personally belong to. So there's all kinds of interesting things. So I might spend time on any of those. A lot of times, if there's a bunch of activity, like here at the Heartland Technology Group, I might go check that out. But if I have something where there's basically nothing going on, no new members, then I, I don't go and check that out. So that's a quick trip on how I tiptoe through Facebook, LinkedIn, and, and Twitter. You can do whatever you wish, but for me, I try to limit my activity to five minutes, and sometimes I will go 10 minutes, and sometimes I will go 10 minutes uh, in the morning and five minutes in the afternoon. I never camp out for an hour. I never just hang out in these social groups. There's just too many other things I need to do during my day.